know, and, and just explain to her what was going on because I couldn't even, I couldn't even get to do what I was telling her. I mean, she just started going, this is an MF, and you give me an MF and ticket for lane change. I mean, she just started going. I just stepped back in the car. I was like, are you done, ma'am? I need to tell you why and what I'm giving you. And it just kept on going. I mean, I don't have seriously bodily injury, <laughs> you know, but I, but I was kicked. Assault is if, in a right, assault is if a person commits an offense of intentionally knowing they're recklessly causing bodily injury to another. You intentionally threaten another imminent bodily injury, including the person's spouse. She's under arrest when a traffic stop is initiated. That's a law for you know, you stop, you're not free to go. I didn't say you're under arrest. I never said, you know, stop, hands up. Correct, and that did not occur. It was just the assault part. Like I said, uh, after I got it all situated and, and, and you know buttoned up to as far as get her in a safe vehicle under arrest, um, that's why I'm calling here. I mean, she, well, yeah, she just moved here according to her yesterday from uh, Illinois. She's over here. Uh, print it out, come and get back to the car, 
to complete, you know, tell her what she's receiving and what to do and so forth. And uh, at that time, you know, she's still very much irritated and, uh, and so forth. Now I'm pulling her over for, you know, she didn't turn on her signal and so forth and so forth. So, I mean, she wouldn't even look at me. She wouldn't. She'd look straight ahead, just mad. You know. So, and I'm in. The, I'm doing. I'm at the driver's side, and uh, so I need to get her out of the car, over to the side of the car, you know, on the sidewalk, because I want to be out in the middle of the, the road while we're arguing with her. Well, not arguing, but I'm trying to tell her what she's doing and she's arguing. Um, that's the only thing that's the only thing I'm leaning to so and then when I had her down on the ground and the other officer came, I told her to stop resisting. And that's when I told her, you're under arrest. And I told her, what for? At least I don't think I did. Okay. Okay. Yes. She kicked me. She started yanking away, trying to get away. And that's when I, I grabbed her arm. Uh, you know, she's in front of me still. I, I controlled and I grabbed her by the shoulders and I brought her down into the grass. And they, they, Like I said, something like this, I just call you immediately after I get to a safe stop at the point. No weapons, she's in handcuffs, you know, I, I took the lesser of the, uh, I only took enough force as I seen necessary. I even de-escalated once we were on the pavement, you know, on the sidewalk. So I allowed time, I mean, I'm not saying I just threw it to the ground, I mean, I allowed time to de-escalate and, and, and so forth. It, it just kept being... <laughs> right, I just break it next week. Right. cuts on my hand, I mean, that's, I guess it is injury, but I'm not, I don't need medical attention, you know, I'm just a little, I got three little circles from, I guess, the hand cuts when I was, when she was twisting away from it.
uh, 47 years. Here's 2547. Here's, I don't have a the suspect on my tree, it's 1095. Uh, Sergeant Bossy has been notified. I'll, I'll public service with uh, details. If your status is uh, 10 4 now, I do have another officer with me. I'll public service shortly. 
ma'am. You're under arrest. You're going to be transported to the Walla County Jail, okay? All right. All right, brother. All right, appreciate it.